Number 35. Most monatomic ions are found in seawater, including the ions formed from the following list of elements. Write the Lewis symbols for the monatomic ions formed from the following elements. And then we have A through H. Okie dokie. So it looks like we need to first turn all of these, A through H, into their respective ions. And remember, ions are just charged atoms. So first off, we have to turn all of these into their ions, right? They're charged atoms. And that's knowing each atom's oxidation states, all right? So we have to memorize the second trend, the oxidation state trend for main group elements. So you guys should know that group one is always a plus one charge. They want to lose one electron. When they bind, group two is a plus two charge. They lose two electrons, plus three, plus or minus four, and now you start gaining electrons. So we gain three, we gain two, we gain one, and these don't gain anything because all other groups will want to be like the noble gas groups. That's why these charges are the way they are the way that they are, right? Plus one means that this group will lose one electron and turn into its noble gas. And they all do the same group one, two, and then 13 through 17 because they always want to act like a noble gas. So chlorine, its monatomic ion would be chlorine's over here. So chlorine would want to gain one electron. So this would be Cl minus one. And for sodium, sodium is over here. Sodium's in group one. So that's Na plus one. And magnesium is in group two. It's over here. So magnesium would want to lose two electrons. So that's a plus two. Calcium is right below it. Calcium would also be a group two atom. So it would also want to lose two electrons. Potassium is group one. So potassium would always want to lose one electron. Bromine is group 17. So bromine would always want to gain one electron, making it a negative one. Strontium is group two over here. So strontium is a plus two. It would lose two electrons. And then last but not least, we have fluorine, which is over here. And that's a minus one. So now we could take our monatomic ions and write the Lewis symbols. So the Lewis symbols are always talking about valence electrons. And valence electrons are always, oops, valence electrons, they're always the outermost electrons. All right, so the ones that have the highest principal quantum number, the n number. And we need to memorize that trend as well. So your valence electrons, group one, there's one valence electron. There's one electron in the outermost shell. Group two, there's two. And then three all the way up until eight. So just memorize these two trends. So we will always write the valence electrons. And then we will manipulate based on the charges that are stated. So for A, we have Cl minus one now. So we have chlorine. And chlorine had seven valence electrons because chlorine is right here. So I will have to draw seven dots. And that's how we represent electrons. We always represent them as dots. And usually they will come in pairs. So here, it doesn't matter where you start, whether you start here or here, it doesn't matter. But you always work your way kind of like a box. So there's basically four sides for every element. So I'm just going to start at the top. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now this negative one tells me that when it becomes an ion, it will gain one electron. Because remember, negative charges are actually a gain of electrons. Positive always means that you lost. Well, not lost electrons. There's going to be different charges, right? Whether it's a plus two, plus three. So that's how many electrons you would lose. So here you would just add your one electron because it's a negative charge. So I would add it to the one that's not paired. And now that's the end. And you box your answer off, you bracket it, and you put the charge that was given in the upper right-hand corner. So that's it. And that's the answer for A.
working. Pretty simple enough. Now just notice that there's eight total electrons here. That's a super important rule. This is the octet rule. Another way of saying that chlorine and all the other elements here will want to exist as a noble gas or be very, very close to a noble gas as possible. Okay, so moving on, we have B, sodium, which was Na plus one. So I write sodium down here. Sodium is in group one. It had one valence electron, so I'll just show you guys that. There was one valence electron, but now it was a plus one charge, which means that it lost one electron. So I have to erase that one. And there's no valence electrons that sodium has anymore when it becomes an ion. So I just bracket it and I put the charge in the upper right hand corner and B is done. C, magnesium is a two plus charge. So magnesium gets drawn. We have to write the valence electrons first. So magnesium's in group two. It has two valence electrons. So I will draw them one, two. But now it's telling me that plus two means that you lost two electrons. So you have to get rid of them. So I will erase the two that I drew. And now when magnesium becomes an ion, it doesn't have any valence electrons. So I will just box that answer off, bracket it off, two plus. Let me just make that a two, two plus, and C is done. D. We have calcium. Calcium is just below magnesium on the periodic table. That also has two valence electrons. So, and let me write the charge here. This was a two plus. So calcium has two valence electrons, but now the charge is telling me that calcium will lose the two electrons because it's positive. So I got to go in there and erase the two electrons. And now when it becomes an ion, calcium has no valence electrons. So it is a two plus. And there you go, halfway through, but you guys, hopefully you guys get this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Potassium is a plus one charge, so potassium's written. And potassium is in group one. It has one valence electron, so I will write the one electron here. But now it tells me that it's a plus one charge, meaning that you lost electrons. And in this case, it's a plus one. So you lose one electron. So you have to get rid of the one that you drew. And potassium, when it becomes an ion, doesn't have any valence electrons anymore. So it just stays like that. And E is done. Next is F, bromine, which is a minus one charge. So bromine's written. Bromine is over here. It's in group 17 or 7A. So it has seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now it's telling me that it's a negative one charge, which means that it gains one electron. And there's one more spot to put it, so I will put it right here. And now since it has a charge, you box it off, and it's a negative one charge. And F is done. G, strontium, which was a two plus charge. So SR is being drawn. Strontium is group two. It has two valence electrons. So one and two. However, it's a two plus, which means that you lose two electrons. So the two that were in the valence shell gets lost. And now strontium has no more electrons. So we box that answer off when we put a two plus. And then last but not least, we have H, fluorine, which is a minus one. So F. And fluorine is over here. It also has seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's a negative one charge, which means that we gain one electron. There's only one room. Well, there's only one spot left, right? All these other ones are paired. Once you make a pair, you can't make it, you know, three electrons. They could only be a max of two. So it will go right here because now there's the nice pair. And then we just box it off or bracket it and we put the negative one charge and that's the answer for that. And now 35 is done. So just take note that in all of these, you will always be obeying the octet rule, which means that you will be a noble gas 
with your valence electrons at the end. Um, metals will always lose their valence electrons to have no leftover. And if you've noticed, nonmetals have eight at the end of the day when they're becoming an ion. So keep that in mind. That's going to help you out greatly for later questions. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Click that subscribe button, like the video, leave us a comment down below of what you think. Anything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. And I will see you guys in the next question. Have an awesome day.